left hammer. Bit of space. Tyrone Green's going to tiptoe in. Big smile from the South African. Phil Colo, I think, towards the line, certainly. And I think, yeah, Pierce has given it. Hardwoods find a soft spot. They go round again towards the line, and they're over. And I think it's George Head who's going to come up with the spoils. It is. And Yanwu gets rid of the ball. Tyrone Green stutters and starts, and then there's a bit of space for Nick David. Quins. There is a smell in their noses. An Yanwu, bit of space. Lennox An Yanwu, this could work for him. Can he cover? I think he does. That's a fine score for Harlequins. Lennox An Yanwu, with the vision, with the skill, with the pickup. Evans thinks about the offload, then gets it through. Dombrand twisting and turning. Is that heartbreak for Falcons? And all of a sudden, Radwan has it. They are trying to get hold of him. The ball is going to bounce. Marchand has grabbed it, and I think he's stolen it. All time, it is Newcastle Pockets 31, Harlequins 40. But I thought the effort, even when the scrum and stuff wasn't functioning, to still stick at it was spot on. Wins on three, two, three, three. Wins. It was a big challenge for us going up to Newcastle first game of the season and for us to get a win we're really happy with. Uh, it was obviously uh, a lot of boys with their, with their first games or first big starts, so to get a good five points on the road, we're all really happy with. Yeah, Sarah's at home uh, is always a massive one for us. Uh, everyone's so excited about it. You can tell in the week, the whole build-up, everyone just wants to get out on the pitch and, and do what they can uh, against, obviously, a good side uh, and a London derby. So for us, there's obviously a bit of hurt from the semi-final still, but yeah, we're, we're all ready and looking forward to this weekend. Basic scroll, a team 2030 will win this game. So if you in there, win us the game. It's tough to get a reaction at the moment. We're going to have to have a look at the, the clips where we went wrong. Uh, obviously, it's very disappointing. Uh, we came out really, really strong. As that was our, one of our main focuses, to come out strong uh, first 20, and we did that. And then we kind of fell off it a little bit. Um, a few moments we should have taken, and we didn't. Uh, and then series, obviously, it's a, 
they're a, they're a class team, so they're going to take their opportunities. Um, so there's a lot to learn from, a lot of positives. Uh, but yeah, it's yeah, it's a tough one, tough one to take, uh, especially against yeah, against Aries and then uh, sold out Stoop. It was it was so nice to be back. It would be nice to get the result for the for the crowd as well. Part of this is well done. Let's pat each other on the back. But the other part is, man, we missed an opportunity. And two, if we don't do it next week, it's been a waste of time. That was a waste of effort. So we've got to, you've got to bring the same level of intent, the same level of energy, and then we fix up the structural pieces. Keep playing. Keep being positive. Keep playing. Never rest on your laurels. One more, one more. Yeah, ten, 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 ten. Go, go, go. Yeah. Feel that too. Nine starts to run. Go get him. He's your man. We came close. We lost it by three points, but that was a game that we should have won. We were 17 points up at one point, and we we can't let that happen again. So we've looked at the clips defensively, and we've got to be better in that aspect. But ultimately, we were proud of that performance. They had their full team out. We were missing a few boys, but every single person to a man went under the bus, was physical, and that's all we can ask for every time you put on the Harlequin shirt. This is a bright, bright start and a charge and a score. Chiefs hunting a second Townsend, wriggling and squirming and somehow scoring. Simmons, and now here's Woodburn again. And now Chinza galloping away. Oh, and Chinza's gone through. Goodness me. Oh, it's been lost by Anyanwu. It might cost them much more than a knock-on because here's Skinner running for the line, and it's not far off. The perfect first half for the hosts. Smith, a little juggle, and Yanwu now Marchant, and that's nice, and white and green, and Quince for the first time plucking some tunes out of that guitar, and Murley, and this is green, oh that is a little bit more like it. Yeah, Smith did well, did beautifully to get the ball away to Northmore, and then white, and now green, and they're going to get another, and it might be Murley, off he goes, Murley scores, Quince reminding us what they're all about. Yanwu very close, in fact he's the uh, chosen target and he bursts through and picks out Northmore and Quinn's again in full sail, oh and Northmore's gone! What? We're all rubbing our eyes, we're all rubbing our eyes! Another twist in this match, and here comes another twist, and here goes Northmore again. Northmore's gone through, match turned on its head. When they're on, we're just going to score at will. And it, if you could bottle that and have a drink of it in the first half, it'd be unplayable. Get, get, get. Oh, Will Evans. It's been immense, absolutely immense. Slow it, slow it, slow it. And again, Harlequins over the ball, winning it. They've got the scrum, they're very nearly there. Yeah! Yeah! And Woodburn, and it's on, and it's Chinza! Chinza! We put ourselves in position to win the game. Weren't up to scratch first half. Uh, we had good, honest chats in the, in the, in the dressing room and um, thought we'd start the second half brilliantly where we want to start every game this season. Um, but the game's 80 minutes, we, we, we played all right for 78 and 
switched off. We can't do that against any team in this league. It's a very competitive league and um, just hopefully that doesn't uh, catch up with us in the end because, as I said, it's going to be a tight league this season. I think that's the first time since I've been here where we've, we've actually played a half like that where we, we didn't really compete. You know, the, clearly the, the scoreboard to, told us we were getting obliterated um, and the halftime couldn't come soon enough. You know, we, we, we got in, we got some pretty clear messages and, um, and, and ultimately asked the players to walk towards the challenge because that's the real, the true test of your culture is actually when the challenges like that are in front of you, do you walk towards it? And I thought they did an exceptional job of fighting back into the match and... Um, and being in the lead right until the end. Two, three, quiz. The real conversation I want for all of us is, uh, we're not going to answer it here, but you've got to really reflect on, if I didn't start well, and I felt my first half was poor, and my second half was significantly better, why was that? You need to dig in. Um, so there's nothing new here, but it's important you see it, because this, this, was, this was a chance to take five points away from home. 31-7 down. 42 38 with 16 seconds to go. There's not many teams that do that. And you scored four first phase tries. Four. Tabs challenged you to represent and show what it means to you, and you did. Let's take pride in our attack. Take pride in our attack. We score, score some tries, eh? Yeah. I think we've we tried to park it today. Obviously, disappointed to not come away with five points. But after that first half, I think you've offer, offered us two. We'd have snapped your hand off. So, uh, yeah, disappointing the way it finished. But, uh, you know, lots of work on. The first half wasn't good enough. We, we righted a few wrongs and, and showed what we're all about in the second half. But you can't give a team like that at that much of a head start. Um, you're not going to win many games. So, yeah, we've got to be better this weekend because we know it's a really tough game again. <laughs>
That's an outstanding finish. Hand off to the throw. Yeah, okay. Tiptoes down yeah. the line. Ten metres to go. Oh, Running out of bodies. Quinn's have it. Smith has it. What a finish. Every bit in keeping with the Gallagher Premiership this season. There are bodies littered all Another thriller, yet another.